What's happening guys? Cowboy here and today we are bringing out Lazarus. So I've used Lazarus a couple times so far. Had three separate fails with him. Not having very good luck with him at all. Um, starting stats are similar to that of Isaac. He has shittier luck. Um, additionally, he starts with a pill. 48 hour energy. Fucking useless. Um, but the one interesting thing about Lazarus is that as you can see I have that times one. Basically, the very first time that you would die with Lazarus, he comes back as, like, Lazarus Revive. Has much better stats, and, uh, he's better. He's just, you know, he's better overall. No real downside to it. Let's just use the Emperor card now. Just give me the boss. Take me straight there. But honestly, I'm not a big fan of him. Um, you know, our, our stats are kind of paltry, and... Your revive state is the only thing that you really got going for you. So I think what I'm going to actually do is get Gemini to or Gemini. I've been watching too much fairy tale. I'm sorry, but I'm going to get him to almost kill me. So I come back as Lazarus revived on the first boss, and then I'm hoping that as I go through, I'll get some nice HP ups and things of that nature, and that will allow me to play through as Lazarus revived instead of just basic Lazarus because the stats are, are pretty pretty significant in terms of how much better they are. Did you fucking, like, keep up? I want to get you close enough to where I can kill you in one tier before I let you hit me. Okay. All right, let him hit us one more time. Alright, now we're Lazarus revived. Mom's coin purse. Yep. Lemon party. Just three of le three lemon parties, that's it. Range up, it's not bad. Um, fuck, I was really, really hoping for an HP up after that boss, but apparently not. I mean, at the very least, Lazarus Reborn is a bit uh, stronger. You can see our tears are are bigger, they're shooting faster. And I got Lemon Party, so I can use that. And hey, Soul Heart. And he looks pretty cool now, he's covered in blood. Like, I've come back, I have returned stronger than before. Ow, you little shit. Come on, man, I only got two hearts. Hell yeah. Sister Maggie. Some nice coinage if we find a shop. Oh, I was hoping to get both the fatties. Whatever. Should have just saved it for a boss in all honesty. But now that I'm revived mode, I have uh, pretty good damage. And I don't know if this is like the ideal strategy for Lazarus, but like I said, I did, um, what do we have here? Book of Shadows, Temporary Invincibility versus the Bible, which the Bible is flight. Uh, does the Bible do anything aside from flight? Is it just flight? Yeah, I think we're going to take Book of Shadows. I think I'd rather have, um, Temporary invincibility. Oh boy. Steam sale. Mm. I like that. Can't get it though. Mm. At least there's no um, no tinted rocks. Double the monstro. Double the fun. Yeah, not like I said, not entirely sure if that's how you're supposed to actually play Lazarus, but so I had three different runs with them, and like I mean, all all three of them were really lackluster. I mean, I had I was getting stuff like um, the the thing to break the rocks open. I got that like two runs in a row. I was getting like uh, brother Bobby or whatever the the familiar that just shoots like your basic bitch tears. Just you know stuff that's not really that useful. Kind of putting putting a hamper on things for me, so 
mixed it up and black hearts yes for sure and i don't know if i've ever seen this book before so give me a second here it's a book with seven on it and that is the book of sin it spawns a random pickup on the floor possible pickups include bombs hearts keys coins pills batteries or tarot cards i think we will pass on that i like my temporary invincibility quite an annoying room. None of the stuff is particularly hard to kill, it's just like, you know, it's a pain in the ass. It's a time waste, basically. Oh. Oh, oh, whoa, 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 okay, so you stop this. You get back down to, to size and die. You too. Shit. Oh man. There goes my heart. I got a bomb. And is that Yum Heart? Ooh. Mm. We're gonna go Book of Shadows, I think. Which, speaking of, I probably should have just used it right there. No, fuck that. Not doing that. Not with only four hearts. Totally got to use that more. That is awesome. That lasts a pretty long time, too. It's just a big bubble of go fuck yourself. You're not hurting me. I blew up your poop. You're getting mad. Get mad, bro. using my only bomb on a wall that may or may not actually be there. Will go in here though. Soul heart or the power plug. I'm trying to remember what that does. That's right, that like does your your item. I remember I found that on the other one. Um we will grab this though. Don't want the plug. It's a thing that, like, costs health to use items. Ah. Fuck. Man, that is so shitty. They hit me as I was popping it. Pop happy assholes. We're gonna go get a couple rooms. I'd rather have... I want to have that perk up for going into the boss fight. So that if it's a particularly difficult boss I'm dealing with... Um, no. That's right. There were no other rooms. Well, fuck. I guess I'm not gonna have it up going into the boss fight. Excuse me. Going back. Oh god, I hate this thing. Alright, it's derping out. Oh, oh, now it's coming up. Stop. Wow. No idea how I actually dodged that right there. He's actually not being bad. You know, he's a boss fight, but I remember the last time I ran into this thing. Um, I don't know if it was the last time, but I just remember I had one fight against it. It wasn't a boss fight. It was when it showed up as like a mini boss in a room. And the damn thing refused to come out of the ground. And I was like, come on, get out of here and fucking fight me. And it would not. And it was really, really irritating. Uh, so Guppy's Collar, Chance at Rebirth. I haven't found it in either Guppy item, so I'm not really feeling that. And the book is a Necronomicon. Deal 40 damage to everything in the room when used. Ooh, Necronomicon. Mm, no. Let me check the chest. Oh, wait a minute, though. 
mean, dead cat. Gonna have to make that trade. Gonna have to with dead cat. I gotta get the guppy collar. Because now we're just one item away from going guppy mode. And guppy is always OP. What you got for me, buddy? Fly love. I'm gonna be a cat covered in poo. Will they hurt me? They won't hurt me at all now. That's awesome. Um, yes! That is sweet. I wasn't entirely sure if that would work, and indeed it does. Back spiders. So that'll be appropriate since I just spawn a shit ton of flies as Guppy. If I can pull off um, Guppy mode. You know, because flies love me. I'm covered in poo. Uh, damn it! Nothing is worse than when you hit one of those and it's tears down. And all you can do is hate yourself for it. Get juke, nerd. Poo, I'm one of you. I have poo as well. Don't attack. I am your ally. What is this? Epicac. Ooh. Well, I All right, big question. Can I hurt myself with this? I can't. Fuck. Okay, well, I guess it's good to find that out now before I'm, like, in a boss fight. And I oh, my God. Oh, my God. Damn it. Took a lot of damage fucking around with that. Oh, nope. I mean, I like that a lot. I just need, um, you know, having never worked with it before, I wasn't sure really what to expect, and, um, clearly things did not work out well. Oh, wow, I can, like, blow up bombs and shit with that, too. Um, we're gonna try something. Damn it. I need to, like, um... Damn it. Um, no, I need to do it like this. Fuck it. I was I was hoping I could like blow one of those rocks over. And it just did not work out at all. Ow, fuck. Sorry, sorry, coming through. Sorry. I think I've hurt myself more with Ipecac than anything else. Which is kind of sad, to say the least. Gertie, don't. I'm your friend. Flies, don't listen to this heathen. and shot speed up. I mean, if I get a, like, if I go guppy mode, or I get, um, I need, what's it, what is it called? I don't remember. I need the, the part with guppy that makes it so I can, like, trade, um, so that I can trade my, uh, souls. Trade my hearts. Arcanist cookbook? No, we don't need that. No, thank you. I just need to be like hardcore on my Book of Shadows usage. No hidden rooms there. Oh, I thought they were gonna rush me for a second.
know what I need right now? I need, um... What's that thing? Pyromaniac or whatever? The thing that makes you, like, immune to bomb damage? That is what I need. That is exactly what I need. No! Shit. One heart. I'm pretty much banking on my revives now. I'm overshooting. It's hard to use these because they're like arcing, but I feel like they like they partially overshoot, but at the same time they don't. from me. I have a good run going. Damn it, I can't hit shit with this. Oh man, it respawned the whole fucking room. Fuck this to the boss. No! Oh my god. Oh, I'm right outside of the boss room though. That's good. Okay. I just need to get. Um, I just want to get my, my book of shadows up. Health up. That's awesome. That is really fucking good right now. Alright. We successfully have juked like half of this level. We never got the item room though. Fuck. I gotta get the item room. better position. Let me grab this. Blow up everything I see. Alright. So we are looking better than we were before. Shit! I should have saved it until it was in spider mode. fucking hit anything with it. Like, it's great for bosses. But for anything outside of that, man, like, trying to kill these little things with it, it's a fucking nightmare. God damn. Where's my item room? There it is. Yeah, we very careful. Just fuck me, right? Ooh. Spider butt? Massive enemy slowdown and damage. What? 
we're looking up this one. Spider, is it spider butt? Or spider bite? Spider butt, yeah. Upon use does 10 damage to all enemies in the room, giving them a slow effect. I mean, that, that's interesting. I don't think it beats out my um, temporary invincibility. Alright, we are just about at the boss, so let's get this last room over here to get our book up. Thank god, it's something easy. I can just blow the fuck up. Damn it! I hit myself. Like an asshole. But I got a soul heart out of it, so that worked out. Is there anything else I can blow up here for a soul heart? All rocks must die. I need like a bombs to keys. That's what I need right now. Alright, so we've somehow actually recovered pretty nicely though. And we got an extra heart container. I still have seven of our nine lives. We picked up a soul heart. Quite a few coins. Black heart, very nice. Just blowing up everything. Oh, no way! Wheel of Fortune. And I got Dry Baby out of that. That is awesome. Fuck you. Come on. There we go. Oh, fucker. One of the ones that hurt me. That's bullshit. Alright, fuck it. Let's go. The bloat. I'm ready, baby. Invincibility. Eat a dick, motherfucker. Womp womp womp. The comeback. HP up. Devil deal. Guppy, guppy, guppy. Nope, just Krampus. Damn it, Krampus. Can't you see that I'm looking for guppy pieces right now, you piece of shit? Krampus, stop that. You're being a dickhead right now. I wonder what Cole will do with this. It's gonna be like really boom, like extra explosive or something. Oh well, we got HP up in the least. No guppy. I really want another guppy piece. I mean, regardless, the the guppy stuff I grabbed is definitely um, helping to save my ass right now. What's up, fatty? I'm just gonna start blowing up like everything I see, though. Now, after getting the immortal baby out of that thing, man. Ooh, Emperor. We'll save it. If shit hits the fan, we will, uh... Things are going really bad. We'll use it to teleport out and fight the boss. Otherwise, I'm going to save it. Just go right after I hit the item room. Speak of the devil. 48 hour energy. Is that Bob's brain? The common cold poison damage. So now, I'm poisoning everything on top of bombing it. Awesome. Oh, can't open that up. Well, we got the room. Let's go. What's up, Mom? What's up, Mom? <laughs> Fuck off me, dude. Kind of a dickhead right now. I need you to get off my nuts. No, you fucker! Oh my god, it went off. Wow. That was way too close for comfort. And the negative. Our fate has been chosen. 
So we just you know what the negative, my understanding is we can go the next floor over. Ow. It's not very nice. Ow. Why did I not even look at you? Lazarus, he just looks terrible right now. He has blood pouring down the side of his head. He has a p big pile of shit on top of it. Wiggle waggle bombs. Kind of entertaining. Yeah, no thanks, Bad Trip. We're not using you. You can go fuck yourself as far as I'm concerned. Something hit the immortal baby. There's the boss room. You're actually kind of making this easier for me. This is going to be hard. I don't know how I can even do this. Oh, here we go. I got it. Nice. Ball of bandages. All right. That'll actually work really well with my um, invincibility perk. Now I just got to get through the heart. Arcade! Him, but I feel like he almost never does. Come oh on, man, I need some keys. I actually got hurt by a fly? I'm gonna play the gambling game for a bit here. Tell you what, I get hurt at all, man. This room is fucking flooded with hearts. Soul hearts, there we go. Here, I mean, we're, we're at the end, you know. I'll, I'll spend, uh,. I'll spend everything I got on this guy. I get a couple soul hearts out of it. At least I know I got somewhere I can go if I uh, am in need of hearts at all. <laughs> Bitches. heart and go the other way. Um, there we go. Still, I don't like this. I mean, 
going against mom's heart with basically three hearts. I mean, this is a really cool, like, tear effect, like the explosions and all, but I really, I mean, I don't know, maybe with enough practice I could get really good at using it, but I feel like it's so hard to aim that I'm just, like, I'm fucking up constantly with this thing. So I'm trying to hit enemies, and it's just going, like, right over their heads. And, like, like there, for example, you know, that hit, that hit the Gurwing straight on, even though it looked like it was going to go right over it. if it would go over their head. Nope, no, fuck off, bro. If it would go over their head, as long as you're, like, directly on top of them, it'll it'll hit, like, if you target it like it's a tier. Ow! Fuck. Ran right into that. I'll tell you what, hearts are dropping like crazy right now, though. Definitely won't be difficult to reach the boss at full health. Nothing else, it certainly does pack a wallop. I guess if it was that strong and just a straight shot though, it would be a little bit overpowered. A necessary risk. No point going into the boss fight without half a heart, considering it's just a quick run. Shit covered Lazarus. Alright, here goes nothing. We gotta get past the heart, and then my understanding is with the, the negative, I think we go through and then we get to the next phase after him. I can't hit these. Ow. I'm fucked. Oh yeah. I am so fucked right now. I'm so fucked right now. I can't, I can't do this. Not with these eyes. Got invincibility. Oh, my God. 
Holy shit, talk about a last minute redemption. Oh man. Into the chest we go. Oh man. A fetus in a jar has appeared in the basement and you've unlocked Demo Man. Damn. Well, I gotta say, if nothing else, that was one hell of a crazy run. Literally coming down to the wire there. If, if man, if those, if those beads had moved at all, my ass was dead. So, either way, thanks for tuning in, guys. Um, as for our next episode, I know I'm in the process of trying to get, like, the final bosses, you know? I still have, um, I found the negative. I still gotta get the Polaroids. We gotta kill the heart a couple more times to get that. And then it's on to, um, Isaac and, I guess, Black Baby. So, more than likely, we'll do an Eden run next, just to try it out. I mean, I have nine tokens with him. And then um, from there on out, we'll see what happens. So thanks for tuning in. See you guys next time.